let's look at this set. Six friends, namely Arun, Arjun, Vineet, Chetan, Deepti, Ishita and Farhan went to a casino to try their luck. They went with Kutis, 170, 190, 150, 200, 230 and 210 in no particular order. Each of them won a different amount of money. In rupees, that is 270, 150, 300, 240, 120, and 180, in no particular order. Five of them had total amounts at the end in rupees as 340, 380, 530, 450, and 290, in no particular order. Okay. So the first thing, first clue that you have to get is this order business we would have to do. This order business we would have to do very, very carefully. So let's see. I am doing is 170. 190, 150, 200, 230, and 210. Now, I'm looking at this final number. This is the initial thing. Now, I'm looking at the final number. 170, say, if I want to move to 340 from 170, I need a 170. There is no 170 in the winnings column. From 170, if I want to move to 380, I need a 210. There is no 210 in the winnings column. From 170 to 530, if I want to go, I need a 370 in the winnings column. None. From 170 to 450, if I want to go, I need 280 in the winnings column. Nothing in 280 like. From 170 to 290, if I want to go, I need a 120 in the winnings column. And yes, I do have a 120. So this becomes 290. As soon as I do that, I remove this from the list. I remove this from the list. I don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay. This 170 is also gone. Now 190 I'm checking. 190 to 340 if I go, I need 150. So it is possible to go to 340. It is possible to go to 340. Next thing, if I need to go to 380, I need 190. Not available. If I need to go to 530, I need 340 available. I need 340 in winnings. Not available. If I need to go to 450, I need uh, 260 in winnings, not available. And that's it. So 190 with 150 will give me 340. 190 with 150 will give me 340. Okay. 340 gone. 150 gone. 190 gone. Okay. Okay. With 150, if I need to end up at 380, with 150, if I need to end up at 380, I need 230 in winnings, not available. If I need to end up at 530, I need 380 in winnings, not available. If I need to end up at, if I need to end up at 450 in winnings, I need 300. So yes, 300 is possible. 150 and 300 gets me to 450. Okay. Next, from 200, if I need to end up at 380, 200, 200 to 380. Oh, I also need to remove this 300 now. From this 200, if I need to end up at 380, 200 and 180 gets me to 380, 230 and nothing, 230 and even the highest number if I take, 230 and 270, even the highest number that I take, 230 and 270, they will lead me to 500 only. This 530 creation seems like an impossible target. It cannot be achieved at all, which is a different way of saying, so far the groupings that we have made, so far the groupings that we have made may not necessarily be accurate. And why that is, is hopefully you have paid attention. You had six initial amounts and you had six profits, but you only had five final amounts. One of the final amounts is missing. One of the final amounts is missing. So the first thing that you should be doing, even before you start pairing up and making cases and doing all sorts of wonderful things, pairing up and making cases, first thing you should be doing is find out the sum of the initial amounts. The sum of the initial amounts is 440 plus 200, 640. 640 plus 150 is 790. 790 plus 190 is 980. 980 plus this is 1150. And how about the winnings? 270, 150 is 420. 420 plus 300 is 720. 720 plus 240 is 960. 960 plus 120 is 1080. 1080 plus 180 is 1260. So when we add these up, 
I should get 0, 1, 1 carried over, so 4, so 2, 4, 1, 0. And then the current numbers here, they add up to 340 and 380 add up to 720, 720 plus 530. So 1, 2, 5, 0, 1, 2, 5, 0 plus 450. So 1, 2, 5, 0 plus 50 is 1300, 1300 plus 400 is 1700, 1700 plus 290. So 199, currently the submission is 1990. So the amount that is not mentioned, the amount that is not mentioned, the final amount that is not mentioned is 420. This much we know. With this in mind, let's start. Now we have six numbers. Now, even within making these pairs, even while making these pairs, the wonderful thing to check is, remember our trigger for finding out the sixth number and doing everything was this 530. Let's take care of this 530 first. How can I make a 530? Can I make a 530? Hopefully you can see the 530 can only be made with this 230 and this 300. 230 is the highest initial amount and 300 is the highest uh, gain. A 530 can only be made this way. So 230 and 300 will pair up to give me 530. This is done. I can get rid of these. Okay. Let, let us look at the next. Let us look at the smallest amount. This was the highest one. Let's look at the smallest one. 290. 290. 170 and 120 can make 290. 190 and 100 not possible. 150 and 140 not possible. 290 not possible. 210 and uh, 80 not possible. So the only way 290 can be made is 170 and 120. The only way it can be made. So this is also gone. This is also gone. This is also gone. Now we engage in the same processing. Either look at the smallest one or look at the largest one. Don't, don't agree to the first case that you see. See if there are other possibilities. And you have to keep on processing. So next thing I'm checking is 250. 190 to 4, sorry, 450. The next amount is 450. 190 to 450 would require 290 as profit, not available. 150 to 450 would require 300 as profit, not available. 200 to 450 would require 250 as profit, not available. So 210 and 240. Okay, 210 and 240 would get me to 450. So these are also gone from the listing. Okay. Next, I need 340. 340 can only be made with 190 and 150. So 340. I'm not checking each of them right now. I'm simply running them through my head and reaching the answer. So 340 is done. Now looking at 380, I see a 200 and a 180. And I am looking at 150 and 270. They give me, uh, this gives me 420. This gives me 380. And now the pairings, this is the one, this is the final amount. All of this I have uniquely identified. But this is not the end of it. This was simply pairing them up. Next part is amounts won by beneath Chetan and Arjun were arithmetic progression in no particular order. The same is true for Ishan, Farhan and Deepti. So one. Now the challenge is the numbers that are written here for one column are not in the are not in AP or are not even in ascending or descending order. It would be much, much easier to process if they were in ascending or descending order. So create this table again. Initial and one and final. And this time I will write one, 120, 150, 180, 240, 270. And 300 and the corresponding numbers next to them 170, 190, 200, 240, 210, 270, 150, and 230. I simply add them up 290, 340, 380, 450, 420, and 530. 
Yes, we have it now. <clears throat> so they're telling me beneath Chetan and Arjun, Varita arithmetic progression. The same is true for Ishita, Farhan and Dipti. So I'm looking for three numbers in the one column. In this column, I'm looking for three numbers that are in it. The numbers could be 120, 150, 180. Okay. And then <clears throat> I'm also looking for three numbers that are in AP. And then another set of three numbers are in AP, which is true for Ishita, Farhan and Dipti. So that could be 240, 270 and 300. Pay attention, I've only identified three numbers, two groups of three, three numbers that are in AP. I'm not saying this has to be beneath Chetan and Arjun. Even this could be beneath Chetan and Arjun. And this could be Ishita, Farhan and Dipti. I don't know. But right now I have two pairs of APs available. I have two pairs of APs available. One grouping is for B, A and C. One grouping is for B, A and C. And the other grouping is for D, E and F. Okay, next. Amounts won by Deepti, Farhan, Arjun and Chetan were in arithmetic progression in no particular order. Now this is interesting. See, previously we were looking for three terms. Now we are looking for four terms. If I'm looking for four terms, can I have 120, 150, 180, 210 is missing? So can't be. How about 120, 180, 240, 300? Yes, four terms. I'm looking for an AP of four terms. It can be 120, 180, 240, and 300. This is done. And this is for <clears throat> which people? Deepi, Farhan, Arjun, and Chetan. The interesting thing is, look at two people from the bottom AP and two people from the top AP. Cool. Next, amounts won by Chetan, Ishita, and Arjun were in geometric progression in no particular order. Amounts won by Chetan, Ishita, and Arjun. So let's see if we can find a GP here. If we can find a GP here. 120 to 150 is 5 by 4. 150 into 5 by 4 is, uh, of course, not 180. 150 into 5 by 4 will be something in decimals. I don't care. 120 to 180 is 3 by 2. 180 into 3 by 2 is 270. So yes, three numbers in GP. 120, 180, 270. This can work. And this is it. How about 120 to 240? Next thing would have to be 480, not available. 150 to 180 is five, uh, 6 by 5. So the next term should be 216, not available, not possible. 115 to 240, the series will have to increase by a much bigger margin than 90, and it will cross the threshold of 300. And thereby, this is the only GP available. This is the only GP available. If this is the only GP available, <clears throat> look at this. This is the only GP available. Can I go ahead and say, I am erasing the table on the left so that possibilities can be written more easily. This is Chetan, Ishita, or Arjun. So for this number, according to the GP summation, it can be Chetan, Ishita, or Arjun. And 180 can be Chetan, Ishita, or Arjun. And 270 wala will be Chetan or Ishita or Arjun. But according to this four term AP, 120 can be D or F or A or C. Can you see, while both these conditions are in play, while both these conditions are in play, it cannot be D or F because it would be violation of the left side condition and it cannot be E because it would be a violation of the right side condition. Similarly, for this number, 180, can you see? It has to be D or F or A or C. Again, D or F can't fit in here because it would be a violation of the GP condition. And it cannot be E because it would be a violation of the AP condition. So A or C will definitely fit somewhere here. A or C will definitely fit somewhere here. Now, I don't know where A comes, where C comes. But because I know B, A and C, their winnings are in AP. Can I state with confidence? This has to be B. Additionally, capitalizing on this D, F, A, C trend further, A and C are already allocated at 120 and 180. A and C are already allocated. So for 240, so for 240 uh, and everything, 240 and 300, this has to be D or F 
this has to be F or D. Additionally, E has to be here for certain. E has to be here for certain because C and A are definitely getting utilized somewhere in 120 and 180. So this is taken care of. This is taken care of. This is the final state that we have. We don't know the precise location or winnings of A and C. We don't know the precise locations and or winnings of B and F. But for B and E, we are certain. Okay. Let's look at the individual questions. How many of the six people had at least twice the money they at the end had at least twice the money they had at the end than the initial amount? So they're essentially asking how many people won at least won as much as they had initially. First person did not, second person did not, third person did not, fourth person did, fifth person did, sixth person did. So three people out of six fulfilled this condition. Next, if the amount won by Deepti was at least twice the amount won by Arjun. Okay. So if the amount won by Deepti was at least twice the amount won by Arjun. See if Arjun could have won 120 or could have won 180. If Arjun won 180, at least twice the amount won by Arjun was won by Deepti. Deepti should have won 360. That is not available. Which means this question is essentially saying Arjun has definitely won 120. Deepti could be at 240. Deepti could be at 300. Not a problem. But Arjun has definitely won 120. Then the fama, ama, then find the amount at the end with Chetan. So Chetan has won 180. Chetan has won 180. The amount with him at the end has to be 380. This is done. Next, which of the following numbers can never be the possible sum of initial amounts with Arjun and Deepti combined? Okay. Arjun and Deepti initial sum, minimum initial sum with them will be 170 and 210. Either one. 170 and 210. This is the minimum sum that they can have, which is 380. This is the minimum sum that Arjun and Deepti can have initially. I see 360 here, which is lower than 380. So this should be the answer. But let's also go ahead and check this 380 we have managed to arrive at. If Deepti had, instead of 210, she had 230. Then we could have reached a total of 400. This is also possible. If instead of this 170, Deepti had 200 in the beginning. And uh, sorry, Arjun had 200 in the beginning and Deepti had 210. Then we could have reached 410. And finally, if both these people had maximized their possibilities, 200 and 230, we could have also reached 430. These are the four possibilities of initial amounts with Deepti and Arjun. 360 is not one of them. So that has to be the answer. Last question. Arjun and Deepti decided to find out the combined profit percent made on the total initial amount with both of them. Neither of them won the lowest or the highest amount of money. So Deepti, uh, Arjun was not here. Arjun, sorry. Arjun is not here. So Arjun is gone. Ar if Chetan is here, then this goes away. Also, Deepti did not win the highest amount. So Deepti is not here. Deepti has to be here. So the initial amount that they invested was 410. 410. And the winnings they walk away with is 420. So the profit percent has to be slightly above 100. Has to be slightly above 100. So among the available options, the one that works is option C, 102. And that is the entirety of this set. In the grand scheme of things, in this set, you don't really have to solve too much. It is just that you have to uh, reasonably read through everything and then uh, basically go through every possibility. And you have to be okay with not being able to arrive at a unique case. That will be all for this set.